Getting your first 1,000 followers on Twitter is way easier than you think. What's up everyone, it's Ash. If you're just meeting me for the first time, hi! <laughs> I'm a full-time content creator, entrepreneur, live stream coach. I am also an author and a little bit of a public speaker. And I'm really, really passionate about helping you pursue your dreams in the content creation and entrepreneurship business space. Part of being in this space means you learning how to blow it up on social media. When I'm working with clients, one of the main things that we talk about is growing their brand on social. It seems like everyone on YouTube is talking about Instagram, and that's awesome. Instagram is great, but what about Twitter, which I find arguably to be a better and easier platform? Twitter is incredibly underutilized, which means that it's a great space for you to actually stand out and meet more community members or customers. So I'm gonna give you my best advice as someone who has worked with hundreds of creators to grow themselves on Twitter. Let's get you to your first 1K, baby. The first thing we want you to focus on is building your own identity. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a creator's Twitter to see that all they do is retweet other people's tweets, there's not really a great bio section, and they don't have great photos to represent who they are. So how do you build this identity? There are a couple of rules here. The first is know your audience. Don't just tweet for everyone, pick a niche and really deliver for those people very well. Make sure your bio, profile banner, and profile picture represent this audience really well. You want someone in that audience to come into your Twitter and say, oh, this person can help me. If possible, build some authority by using relative ats in your bio section to show people a little bit more about what you do. Even if it's just at Twitch affiliate or at YouTube partner, it will help you stand out. The most important part of you building an identity on Twitter is curating a feed. When someone new comes to your Twitter and looks through your profile, you want them to get a good sense of who you are based on your tweets. This means don't just retweet other people, have a good ratio of retweets to creation tweets. I usually say aim for a ratio of about three to one, meaning three tweets from yourself and one tweet from someone else. We'll get into what these tweets should look like here in just a second, but the last thing that I want to say about building your identity is don't just automate everything. I can't tell you how many business owners or content creators I see that put very, very little effort into actually responding or creating unique information <laughs> to put out into the Twitter world. So many of y'all are just regurgitating quotes that you've heard a hundred times. Mm -mm. So we've built our identity, but what should we actually be tweeting? There are three tweets that I want you to worry about. The first one is questions. So I want you to specifically think of your audience and what conversations those people care about. Then just ask a question. Text only, don't over hashtag it, make it very aesthetic and pretty and easy to respond to. The second is retweets. So thinking of that audience you chose again, what's maybe a fresh perspective that you could give them? How do you speak on behalf of that entire group of people to say something that matters enough that people wanna show it off to their friends and followers? The third type is sharing about your life. It's great to go for all of these engagement-based tweets and to really speak towards a specific audience but people want to connect with you as a person too. They want to see what's going on behind the scenes. Now with these three different types of tweets, I also want you to mix up the media types that you're using. So instead of just plain text, throw in photos from time to time, use video and use GIFs. The Twitter algorithm is actually going to serve those specific media types to the people that consume them. Someone who really loves watching videos on Twitter is more likely to see your tweet with a video in it. If someone really likes looking at GIFs on Twitter, they're gonna be more likely to see your tweets if there is a GIF there. Yes, it's GIF, not GIF. Don't at me. So now we've got our identity and we've got the types of tweets that we should be creating, but let's talk about the amount of content. What I see with a lot of traditional digital marketers or traditional businesses is that they think Twitter is basically a spam system. The more tweets that you create, the more likely people are to find you, right? Ew. Unless you're just absolutely no lifing Twitter like our friend Trouble Truck. Then show me where in the rules it says a dog can't play support. People know that you're automating everything and it can come across a little robotic. 
What I tell my clients is to aim for one main tweet daily. Switch it up between a retweetable, a question, or sharing about your life. Respond to every single person who interacts with that tweet. Also, it's really important that you're making sure to get involved in conversations and responding to people in that specific niche that you've chosen to be part of. I can't tell you how many people don't do that, and because of that, the Twitter algorithm doesn't end up sending their tweets to anyone. The algorithm will send your tweets to people that you interact with. You get to control whether or not people see you on their feed. Now, getting to your first 1K followers is a slow burn. The very beginning of content creation on any platform is really hard because you just don't have the attention yet. You can definitely feel like you're screaming into the void, but be patient. It's going to take some time, but respond to people, get engaged, talk a lot, and it will come. I know it's really frustrating to feel like you're ignored at first. You might want to result to using a ton of hashtags or getting involved in like retweet groups or just other kind of scummy ways of trying to grow, but you don't have to get desperate. It will come. It just takes a little bit of patience and you playing the long game. Did I miss anything here? Is there something that y'all would add to help someone get to their first 1,000 followers on Twitter? Let us know in the comments down below. If you haven't seen this video, by the way, this one is all about how I grew over 50,000 followers on social media. Click on that thumbnail, check it out. I'll see you over there. I love you so much, bye!